students i am getting many comments regarding practicals the most important part in practicals where student gets confused is regarding salt analysis so today my topic is salt analysis this easy and simple tricks makes you to identify salt in just 10 to 15 minutes that's it if you spend just uh, 10 to 15 minutes you can find if you are not it takes a uh, little more 5 minutes that's it but within this time you definitely you can uh, find what is the cation present and what is the anion present in your salt let's start this if you see every salt every salt is made up of two parts one is cation and another one is anion cation is called as a basic radical and anion is called acidic radical i want to make you clear that what is acidic radical and what is basic radical suppose if you see a cation like na plus we know that this na plus is formed during the hydrolysis of a base suppose naoh if it dissociates we get na plus so cations are formed from uh, what to say bases that is that's why we call it as an basic radicals basic radicals and anion like so4 2 minus if you see this it is formed from h2 so4 so that we can say that h2so4 gives 2h plus plus so4 2 minus right so anion is formed from an acid so we call it as these anions as acidic radicals yes follow this easiest uh, steps to find the anion let us see first about anion we can use dilute h2so4 we can use concentrated h2so4 and we have the independent one more independent group so that in this independent group uh, we use uh, barium chloride to detect the anions apart from this general procedure to find it these simple five tips makes you to find the anion let us see the first one take one dry test tube and in the dry test tube takes little bit salt uh, see keep it in mind you have to take very less amount of the salt because if you take less amount of the salt then if you add in proper amount of water you feel, you can see its a solubility if you add more amount of salt and if you add less amount of water uh, students may feel that it's not soluble in water but no when you take little salt and add water the more water then it will be soluble always uh, try to take uh, uh, less quantity of the salt then add water it is dissolvable to that add barium chloride solution no need to worry of the solutions you uh, no need to prepare the solutions it will be available in your laboratory just your part is you have to add once you add barium chloride solution to the test tube you will get white precipitate if white precipitate once you get white precipitate add dilute hcl if you add dilute hcl that white precipitate is dissolvable in the dilute hcl then it indicates it is so3 2 minus ion sulfite ion suppose if it is not dissolvable in the dilute hcl then it is sulfate ion suppose uh this white this white precipitate is not formed then you no need to do this uh di the reaction with dilute hcl you have to stop the reaction here take test tube add salt add water barium chloride if you see white ppt then continue and if you didn't see a uh, white ppt then go to next test if you see white ppt here only you got your anion then remaining all other tests you no need to do so it takes just very less time coming to the test number 2 if you didn't get white ppt then take again the one more dry test tube add salt and water freshly prepared ferrous sulfate will be available in your laboratory which is prepared by your lab technician to that add concentrated h2s so for by using a drop just put your test tube slant and add through the walls of the test tube slowly through the dropper in brown colored ring appears then it indicates nitrate ion 
and suppose if no, no brown ppt only black precipitate no brown ring only black precipitate is formed it indicates no2 minus ion suppose if there is no brown ring or no black ppt it means that these two anions are not present in your salt then let us see test number 3 take salt add water to that add concentrated h2so4 and add agno3 solution to that when you add one or two drops of or two to three drops of agno3 solution you may observe three things one is either white ppt or pale, pale yellow ppt or yellow color if white ppt is formed it indicates cl minus and chloride ion if pale yellow ppt indic it indicates br minus ion if it is an yellow ppt then it indicates i minus ion by using this colors you can easily identify these three anions so simple test here between these two only one difference here freshly prepared fso4 here agno3 solution that's it if you didn't observe anything here no color either yellow or white then you have to do test number 4 take a test tube and add salt to that and dip one uh, what to say uh, lead acetate paper add dilute h2so4 solution through this then immediately two things you may observe one is black precipitate or brisk effervescences if black precipitate is formed it is having s2 minus anion if brisk effervescences is coming from the test tube then it is having co3 two minus anion suppose here you may get doubt how to uh, make this uh, lead acetate paper in your laboratory lead acetate solution will be available take that lead acetate reagent bottle in that put one uh, filter paper then that is called as an lead acetate paper just fold that lead acetate paper and dip into the solution then you will get the uh, whatever your lead acetate paper and you do add dilute h2so4 you may get this too if not no changes in this four test the last test is take just take little amount of salt in your palm just rub the salt and just do the smell if it is smelling like vinegar then ch3co minus is present out of these five definitely you will get one according to as per board rules let us this is useful for both puc as well as the cbsc students and it is useful for both class 11 and class 12 students in this way you can identify your salt easily L which one anion let us see how to do for cation suppose in this five any one if you get it's enough no need to go through other tests and coming to the cation we have six groups these six groups cations we are going to find now let us see take first original salt solution what is the original salt solution take little amount of salt and add water and whether if it is soluble in water that is your original solution if not make it hot then it is soluble then that is your original solution if not add dilute hcl if it is soluble that is your original solution I, sure either it may be dissoluble in uh, water cold or hot or dilute or concentrated uh, hcl cold or hot sure that is called as your original solution. solution take your original solution maximum conditions it will be soluble in your water to that add ammonium hydroxide solution it is available in your laboratory just add the ammonium hydroxide solution if you may observe two things one is blue color or white color if blue color is formed then it is indicate cu plus 2 cation is present if white color ppt is formed then it indicates as plus 2 cation is present if there is no color change once you add nh4oh what you do is to the same test tube add k4 fecn6 potassium ferrocyanide once you add potassium ferrocyanide solution to this you may observe again two things either bluish white or blue bluish white indicates zn plus 2 cation and only blue color indicates fe plus 3 cation and what my suggestion is take one beaker in that take little amount of the salt two to three spatulas of salt or four you can add four spatulas of salt and add a required quantity of water dissolve it by using glass rod 
ओके नाउ दिस सोल्यूशन ओनली यू यूज फॉर युअर एंटायर एक्सपेरिमेंट टू फाइंड द कैट यॉन नो नीड टू टेक एवरी टाइम सॉल्ट एंड एवरी टाइम वॉटर इट कंज्यूम्स युअर टाइम इज अ क्लियर स्टूडेंट्स स्टार्टिंग इट सेल्फ यू मेक अ ओरिजिनल सोल्यूशन रेडी एंड जस्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन एड एवरी फोर टेस्ट ट्यूब्स लिटिल अमाउंट ऑफ ओरिजिनल सोल्यूशन देन स्टेप बाय स्टेप यू कैन डू ऑल द टेस्ट इट सेव्स युअर टाइम If suppose you didn't get after adding NH four OH no color here either blue or white or no bluish white or no blue white after adding this then discard that solution and you already added uh, your original solution in NH four OH in another one clear what I'm telling is take original solution NH four OH in a beaker and make it ready take in that little amount and add dimethyl glyoxam if it red ppt is formed it indicates that it is having ni plus 2 ion suppose if there is no red ppt take uh, one more test tube and take your uh, already prepared original solution and nh4oh solution to that add blue litmus solution two to three drops and to that again add excess amount of nh4oh once you add this you can observe that immediately and blue colored layer like this which is formed above the colorless solution if you observe this then it is uh, confirmed that it is having al plus 3 ions uh, see students this indicates this simple test make you to identify very easily just note the note down all the points and practice go to your lab before your final exam just do all this test then uh, do in your final exams definitely you can finish your salt analysis within 10 to 15 minutes let us see test number 4 uh don't forget to give like you know uh, yes see here uh, take test tube and take original solution here whatever original solution you are taking transfer to a uh, four uh, other test tubes to make it easy and to that add potassium uh, dichromate potassium chromate solution if you get immediately yellow ppt then no need of actually doing all other tests so first take test tube original solution add potassium chromate if you see yellow ppt there are two chances either lead or barium if then what you do is take one more test tube add ki to that original solution with ki here no original uh, to the original solution just add ki okay either if suppose yellow precipitate is formed then lead is confirmed if no yellow precipitate is there barium here if you get yellow ppt with this only do this test otherwise if no yellow ppt just skip this test and add uh, original uh, to the original solution uh, ammonium sulfate if white ppt is formed then strontium is present understand if you get yellow precipitate only with potassium chromate do this test otherwise directly take one more test tube add ammonium sulfate if white precipitate is formed strontium is present if not then again add uh, ammonium oxalate if white ppt is formed then calcium is present if not then take one more test tube to that add nessless reagent in the presence of dilute hcl if brown precipitate is formed ammonium ion is present ammonium cation is present just we are using very few reagents and we are finding the cation and anion but this simple uh, tips makes you to find your salt easily I hope you like this video thanks for watching please give your like and subscribe if still not subscribe subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends so that they also get benefit and good marks in their practical examinations thank you